This is from Exodus 23, 25. You shall serve the Lord your God, and he will bless your bread and your water. Because we want good bread and clean water, don't we? Amen. Amen. You don't like to eat bad bread? I don't. Or dirty water. Or dirty water, that's true. Um, he titles this, uh, Common Things Blessed. What a privilege to have the blessings of the Lord resting upon us in all things. Our Lord Jesus took bread and blessed it. Behold, we also eat of blessed bread. Jesus blessed water and made it wine. The divine blessing is on the man of God in everything, and it shall abide with him at every time. With God at our table, we not only ask a blessing, but we have one. It is not only the altar, but also at the table that he blesses us. He serves those well who serve him well. Hmm. That's pretty deep. It is. He serves those well who serve him well. This table blessing is not of debt, but of grace. Indeed, there is a troubled grace. He grants us grace to serve him. By his grace, he feeds us with bread, and then, in his grace, blesses it. Was it troubled or troubled? Troubled. E-B. E-D. E-D. Okay. So tripled. Triple mm -hmm. grace. That's, uh, triple grace. Um, yeah, and I... He serves those well who serve him well. <clears throat> do we, you know, do we always feel that God is serving us well, or do sometimes we think, "Man, where are you?" And if so, where are we as far as serving the Lord? You know, everything's not going to be. Um, easy, easy going. That's you know, that's just not the way. No, but if we're doing what we're supposed to do, our outlook and our perspective changes. It does indeed. So you know, if we're not serving Him well, we can't expect the Lord to serve us well. You know, we like others to uh, to treat us well, don't we? Do we always like to treat others well? <laughs> the look says no. No comment. Yeah. I want to treat you real good for our anniversary. I'm going. I'm going to accept that. <laughs> I'll take you out. I know you will. <laughs> yeah. If we serve God well, He will serve us well. And that doesn't mean everything's going to be easy sailing, no rough roads or anything like that. But if our relationship is right with God, and nothing else really matters, mm -hmm. we need to you know, serve Him well and allow, allow God's plan to, uh, to guide our life, you know. I think uh, this could relate or not relate. It could be indifferent too, but I do think it does relate. Um, I think a lot of times when we serve the Lord or we are determined that we're going to do His will, um, that that mentality is there that things should be easier. It's like saying, you know, someone who, who smokes, I prayed the Lord would take that that desire away from me. Well, sometimes he does do that. Sometimes it's absolutely true. Mm -hmm. But most often in circumstances where we are struggling with something that is contrary to how we should live, we have to be willing to put up that battle. We have to be willing to, to fight the urges or the desires um, 
because in doing that, God uses those things to make us stronger, but it's like serving him. Uh, if things don't go, we're, we're serving him as we should, and if things don't go the way we we feel they should, we, right. we can get that desire, or they have those feelings of, um, well, what's the point, what's the use? Mm -hmm. Because I think no right. matter how focused you are on Christ, those things flood through our minds, and we have to reject. You know, the Bible tells us to bring our thoughts into captivity. Mm -hmm. um, so as Christians, when we're doing the right thing for the right reason, and things don't seem to be going right, we, we have to make sure at that time that we're choosing the right thought process, the right attitude, and not, as, the, as Paul said, don't, don't find it surprising when you know these darts come at you, these trials come at you, mm -hmm. um, be prepared. And being forewarned is being forearmed. Our, our gauge, and it shouldn't be, but our gauge is on looking at things around us. Mm -hmm. Man, they've got, a, they've got it easy. Look right. at that. You know, everything just goes right for them. Mm -hmm. Well, we shouldn't do that. Mm -hmm. we, we should not. The world should not be our gauge. Yeah. Nor should other Christians. I mean, I hate to say that, but well, it's true. It's their prosperity, yeah. a Christian's prosperity, should not be our gauge, um, because there's that doesn't always collate to what God has in mm -hmm. store for us. And there, nope. oftentimes, someone else's prosperity isn't always as it appears. Um, we need to look at people's spiritual life, their their walk with Christ, their humility their benevolence to others, um, what they value um, needs to be our basis for inspiration and encouragement. It does. Yeah, we need to stay we need to stay focused on the on the mark. And what is the mark? God. God, that's right. As long as we keep our focus on, on God keep our relationship right with God. <clears throat> keep serving Him well, the best we can. Yeah. The Lord will take care of his end of, the, his end of the bargain, if I can use that term, not really a bargain, but... If you must. The Lord will, will provide what we need, when we need it, how we need it. Mm. And right on time. And right on time. Yep. He's he's an on time God. Yes he is. <laughs> Sorry. He might not you come that song? He okay. might not come when you want him to be but he comes at the right time. He does. You heard that. That, was, yeah. that is very true. <clears throat> We've experienced that bunches. Bunches. Okay. 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 Let's pray. Let's pray. Father, we, we do pray that you would help us not to stumble. And you would you know, help us to serve you the best that we can, Father, for your honor and your glory. Lord, help us to um, you know, not focus on things of this world or you know, fellow Christians or anything like that. Just help us to stay focused on you. Because you are the most important thing in our life, Lord. Father, we give you praise and honor. We just thank you so much for your goodness. In your most high name, Lord, we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.